congrats on being a finalist for your program. To start off our tour, I'm here at the Wilson Commons, the hub of student life here at the University of Rochester, and right down there behind me is the pit, one of our many dining halls. If you look to the right of our pit, we have Rockies, which is a sub shop and lounge where trivia night happens on Thursday nights, a lot of fun. To the right of Rockies over here is the Gowan Lounge where a lot of clubs and extracurricular events occur. To the right of the Gowan Lounge, we have the Hearst Lounge where we see a lot of students grabbing a meal, getting some homework done, just having a good time. And I have one more surprise for you. Come follow me. And here we are, Starbucks, a student favorite for some obvious reasons. Starbucks is open many hours of the day and is always a great place to hang out, relax, and get some homework done. Welcome to the Gergen Athletic Center. This is where a lot of students and student athletes come to get their exercise in for the day. I'm going to be taking you all around and showing a few of the amazing things that this place has to offer. So here we are in the gym. This is my favorite part of the Athletic Center. As you can see, we have an abundance of equipment from benches to dumbbells to machinery and tons of squat racks. And then up top, we have an abundance of cardio machines. Uh, so this is open pretty late. It's open from about 6.30 to 11 p.m. on most days. Um, and so that's a huge chunk of time where you can come in and get your lift in for the day. The indoor turf field and track, which you can see behind me, this is really great because when the weather is not so nice outside, you can come here to play some soccer or just get a run in. This is the Palestra. As you can see behind me, it's a really nice basketball court. This is where our men's and women's team come to play, and it's a really great gathering spot for students. When the court is open, um, it's open for students to just come and play a little pickup basketball between classes as well. This is Rush Reviews. This is one of my favorite libraries. Um, one of my key favorite things about it is the stacks. So back here, you can go in through some tunnels, little ways, and you can be surrounded by books. It's a great place to study. I often go up there to kind of have a more secluded area that's a little bit more quiet. You can look across and they have windows all up there, so you have a great view while you're studying. Um, but if you don't want to work in such a secluded place, you can also come down here. There's a lot of wonderful collaborative study spaces with tables and things like that. Um, and you can print back there as well, which is a great resource. Um, but you also have the Q&I, and they often give you wonderful things such as dry erase markers and some chargers as well, which are very helpful in terms of just getting studying done and um, learning your new material. But yeah, it's one of my favorite places so far on campus. At the Rushery's bus stop, this is right outside of the I zone. Um, right when you walk out, it's this little strip of land where the buses come to pick up students. They have several lines here at the bus stop. There's the blue line, the gold line, orange line, different things like that. My favorite is the blue line. The blue line actually takes you to College Town, and it's um, perfect for those late night insomnia runs when you're kind of hungry and want a cookie late at night. Um, but there's so many other places you can go. You can go to Eastman School of Music, check out Java's. It's a great coffee shop. Um, but it's a really great useful resources um, that the university has. Hi everyone, welcome to the iZone. As you can see, the iZone is a great study space. It's very light and there's lots of color. There are a bunch of different places in the iZone. Behind me over here, we have lots of little tables where you can study alone or in group. Up there, there are some study booths. Behind there, there are even lots of whiteboards you can use. Up there is one of the coolest spaces. There are collaborative rooms that you can book in advance to study with your friends. Right now, I'm standing at Hajim's Engineering Quad, where behind me we have Hutchinson, Carlson Library and the Gergen Hall over there and if you're going to be taking any STEM classes, so any biology, physics, chemistry, any labs, you're most likely going to be finding yourself in this quad pretty often. This is Douglas. It's actually named after Frederick Douglass who's a famous abolitionist and he's actually native to Rochester and over here you'll see the Douglas Dining Hall. This is one of the main dining halls here on campus. They have a lot of different types of food options. They have pizza and pasta, but they also have mix up different types of foods with kosher stations and burger stations and whatnot. And I would highly recommend that you check out the nachos here. The food here is amazing. Thank you so much for joining us on this tour. Uh, we hope you enjoy campus and we're really looking forward to meeting you guys. Uh, please feel free to reach out if you have any questions.